Hi, I'm still Jeremy, and today we're going to go see Osaka Castle. Not just the land around it, but the actual, shut up, the actual castle itself. So here we go. First, the plan is to go across this bridge. This is not just any bridge. This, as you see from the sign, is Tenmabashi. Tenmabashi. So this is Tenma Bridge. And basically, this is my favorite part of Osaka. Real favorite. This, this little section right here. I used to live right over here. And it's just an extremely uh, convenient and nice place to live. Right at the confluence of some of these rivers. Nakanoshima, which we're going to do in a different later video, is right over there. Starts right over there. It's all great. So, anyway, the plan here is to go across Temmabashi, go up this little hill, cut across to the left. And we're going to approach the castle, enter the uh, Osaka Castle Gardens, Osaka Castle Park. No, every time I say east in this video, I mean west. <clears throat> from the east, through the east gate. Basically, I'm already winded now as I'm doing this little intro, and there's a lot of uphills coming, so. So bear with me if I seem wheezy. This intersection is one of those where all directions get, all directions of uh, pedestrian traffic get the green light at the same time. So if you see it's green, you better hurry because it might be a while before it comes back. Also means it's chaos and everybody's crossing at the same time and going diagonal and everything. All right, up this hill. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna be really winded for a few minutes. Okay, you can probably see the castle there, if the, if the camera quality is okay, there's the castle. And it's my favorite part of Osaka. The word for castle in Japanese is Jo, so this is Osaka Jo. Although I tend to call it Jeremy Jo. Because it is, by all rights, my castle, because I really like it. It's on the highest spot in Osaka City, which is up on the Uemachi Plateau. And once formidable, it is now swamped by the uh, or dwarfed by the much bigger buildings around it, but that's okay. Once a year here in Japan, I get a health check. It's part of the health system here. And that health check is, I don't know if you can see it, right over here. Let's go see. At this Red Cross hospital. I don't really live here, near here now, but for some reason that's why I got, this is where I got assigned to go. The Red Cross. Closed today, but that's where I go. And they do the whole thing, you know, taking blood and taking urine samples. And they do the barium test, which I quite enjoy because it's quite an experience in which you, s you get on this big kind of contraption and you hold, you hold tight to these uh, handles and they, you have to drink this kind of chalky barium, whatever barium is, and the guy, a guy with like little joysticks moves the thing all around, you have to hold on. It's really like exercise. It's like an obstacle course or something, but it's very weird. And so the barrier, he tilts you up and down and side to side, so the barium coats all of your insides and they can see it with an x-ray. And I don't know, I don't know what they're looking for, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of, you know, you feel uh, nervous going up to it because it's such a infamous, infamously unpleasant thing. But I've always enjoyed it. I don't mean enjoy it, but I kind of enjoy the challenge of it. 
So we're not so far from the east. Well, right across this, this intersection is where the park starts. So all that stuff is the park, the castle park. And it's not too far after that, you get to the east gate. Kind of a series of a couple gates, and there's a main gate that leads up to the actual castle. If we have time, then we can go maybe behind the castle too, which is also a lot of fun. A lot of people out. I think the tourists are starting to come back. Tourists don't often come to Osaka, as I've mentioned, but when they do, they tend to come here. These people do not look like tourists to me. I think these are all locals, which I consider myself too, a local. I'm not a tourist, what else am I? A resident, a wandering English teacher, imparting my paltry knowledge of grammar to the grateful masses. When I used to live really close to here, I used to come right over here on my days off, my afternoons off, with a guitar, my acoustic guitar. And I would sit, I'll show you. I'd sit on this little wall over here and just play for my own entertainment. Right here, along here, somewhere, anywhere. So sit, sit somewhere here, have my little bottle of tea, play my guitar. And people would, you know, these people walking by, they would notice me sometimes, they'd look over at me and say something. Every now and then somebody would come up to me, especially a kid. Kids, kids would come up to me, or people carrying very young kids would carry the kid over to listen to me play for a couple minutes. And every now and then people would come up to me, tourists, I think maybe like Chinese tourists or Korean tourists, they would come up to me and ask me if they could take my photo. And I'd always say, sure, whatever. And I never knew if I should, what, should I, what I should do. Should I keep playing and looking at my guitar or whatever and singing? Or should I uh, pose and smile? So I did all types. I don't know which was best, but uh, I think my blood sugar might be low. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bike up this incline here. There's a little inner courtyard thing check my blood sugar there. I believe my blood sugar is probably 138. 138, One day I had a very interesting visitor as I was playing guitar out here. I'll tell you about that in a second. Strange thing. So here's the, the big east gate. Here's a little inner courtyard area. And this was built especially for diabetics to check their blood sugar, as far as I know. So here we go. 138. That might be optimistic. Shut up. It might be... Uh, Lower than that. Now is not so bad. Checking the blood sugar on, in these conditions is not so bad, but when it gets really hot and really bright, I can't hardly do it. I can't really see what I'm doing. I can't concentrate. Here we go. Okay, I think it's 138. One, 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 127, is that what it is? This is the greatest video ever created. Wow, hold on, that wasn't scripted or anything. I have to wait and I have to think of what to do now. I, at that point in the video, I should have some kind of big, I should, I should like pay thousands of dollars to have some kind of big uh, explosions and CGI and some kind of big cool explosion thing. Like that was awesome. Okay, I can't think of anything to say. So I'm gonna go Continue on as if nothing happened to 138, and then uh, we'll go up to the castle. So I don't really know what the difference in all of these gates is. 
There's an English sign right over there. I guess go check it out. I won't bore you with that right now. Let's see what this is. Well, this is something else. The Sengan, Yu, Sengan Yagura Turret. All right, anyway, onto the castle. If you want a real in-depth tour of the little bits of Osaka Castle, I'll do that a different day. All I can think of now is 138. I should have, quit, should have stopped the video back there. The castle, the fabled and storied castle, cannot, cannot compete with the awesomeness of my blood sugar prowess. And I didn't say 127. I, I meant to keep it on 138. <clears throat> okay, here's the final approach. The castle is over on the left. There's a one more, sort of one more big ramp up to it. One more cool gate, and then you come around a little uh, corner, and it's boom, right there. Okay. See it? Here we go. Here we go. Osaka Joe. Ain't she sweet? This is actually a reconstruction, a redesign from the mid 90s. Although the original castle was from, this is 1600s, I think. So this is a kind of a re, redecoration, a redesign, and it's infamous for being very, very white. They chose a very white, bright white paint for it, and not everybody likes it. I like it, the green, the white, and the gold. And that's it. And right now, if you want to go in, there is a temperature check. Contact information. And I'm not going to tell you something that I find very embarrassing, so... Okay, I will tell you, but I don't listen to it because it's embarrassing. This is a true story about my life. So for the next 10 seconds, don't listen. Okay, here we go. I've lived in Osaka 125,000 years. I've been to this castle 8 million times. I've never actually been inside and up the castle. And it only costs like $5. Okay, welcome back. I didn't say anything. Now one more slope, but it's down. I'll show you the little bridge behind the river, the uh, castle, and then we'll call it there. Now this is not uh, a nice bicycle, as you might have deduced, but I hope, I hope it's okay because its brakes are all I have on this very steep Path. And I'll probably be all right, but the people I smash into, not so much. Whoa. Unless I really ride the front brake and flip over. All right, here we go. sign says I should walk my bike and not ride it, but I'm going to ignore that because it doesn't say it in English. <laughs> I'm a menace. It should revoke my my gaijin car. Okay, here's a nice little bridge, and we'll call it there. I have to get out of these people's way.
Okay, that's it. That's the castle. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to go and probably have a piece of chocolate to take care of this. 138. And uh, please watch my other videos because I have more videos like this. I have videos of me traveling around the world and taking care of my other um, type 1 diabetes experiences. So, a good place where I can park and talk to you for a second. Thank you for watching. Please watch my other videos. Subscribe if you like this. There's more coming. And I will see you next time. Osaka Castle was built in 1583 and restored in 1995 to 1997. Barium is used to examine the upper gastrointestinal or GI tract. It is used to detect cancers and other abnormalities. I think it's 138. <laughs>